Most people don't use this super powerful DaVinci Resolve color grading technique. And if you know about it, it really unlocks loads of creative possibilities. I'm gonna start with the simple version first, and then we'll move on to a more complicated version, which really unlocks powerful situations. So in this video, I'm just flying my Insta360 X4 through the car here. And you can see that we start out up here fairly bright and when we get inside the car things start to get a little bit too dark what we want is to increase the brightness of this part of the clip before we come out of the other side of the car or in other words we want the brightness of one of our color grading nodes to change as the clip is playing and we can do this pretty easily we'll just come back to the start of the clip and click on this button to enable the keyframe viewer we've only got one node here and this is corrector one you can expand this down to see all of the different aspects of the color grading node. We don't really need to worry about that for the minute in this example. Click this button to turn on automatic keyframing and then right click and choose add dynamic keyframe. You can see that the playhead is right at the start of the clip here. And as I'm moving this playhead in the keyframes, it's also moving the playhead in the viewer. Next, move the playhead to where you want to start to increase the brightness. Right click again in this space and choose add dynamic keyframe. And now as we transition into the heart of darkness in the car, we can gradually increase the brightness. So let's say around there, we can right click, choose add dynamic keyframe, and then go and use the color grading controls to increase the brightness. I'm gonna use the HDR exposure here to keep things simple. Just gonna drag that up and we're increasing the exposure. The interesting thing is, watch what happens now. That increase in exposure isn't taking place yet, even though we're in the same clip. But as I get into the car, we can see that the exposure gets brighter and brighter as we get closer to the keyframe. And of course, you could use any of the other controls. You could increase the shadows if you didn't want to affect these highlights. And at this point, we can right click, add a new keyframe. And as we transition back out of the car, we can reduce this global exposure value back down. And here's what it looks like. That's not all, there's an even more powerful technique which I'll show you next. At the start of this second clip, we've got this area in darkness and as the clip progresses, at some point we start to get into this more brightly lit area. Now we could go and do the same thing and maybe increase the shadows as keyframes, but we might not want that to affect bits of the sky or bits of the background. Let me show you a more advanced technique. Move the playhead to the start of the clip, come over to power windows, and in this case, let's just go and add a circular power window. Resize this so it covers up the shadow area. In this example, let's say we just want to bring up the shadows a bit. I'm gonna go over the top just so you can see the effect in action. Now, as this clip plays through, this power window is staying in the same place. So when we get to here, it's really overdoing the effect. Move the playhead to the start, make sure you're on keyframe view, click this button, right click, add dynamic keyframe. Move the playhead, right click and choose add dynamic keyframe. Now just move this power window where you want it to finish. It's affecting a little bit of the shadow there. Now watch what happens when I move the playhead. The power window is being animated and it's not affecting this area of the image once we get to it. Here's what it looks like, full screen. And you can see how that gives us a massive amount of control when we're color grading. Check out this video next. Please subscribe, I'm Jason Roberts. This is DaVinci Dojo, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.